once we've created a game over screen and we've created all of the um, possibilities for creating a new game broadcast then creating a welcome screen should be very easy and straightforward so let's just duplicate our game over screen we'll give it the name of welcome and uh, now that we have a welcome screen I don't need to show all of that but I do need to do that I can throw away we won't have a welcome broadcast I don't need to hide so when the green flag is clicked go to that uh, zero zero location show and go to front and then uh, when the space bar is is pressed uh, then hide and broadcast new game or if it gets clicked then hide and broadcast new game and now we just need to change the um, graphic here to resemble that so first things first let's have a uh, lovely green welcome screen Nope, not dark enough. Let's try that. There we go. And instead of game over, then I want to have welcome. To log in. Now I chose. Um, I chose a the vector graphics for this one, so that's why it might be a little bit easier for me. Welcome to Frogger, and instead of saying to play again, I'm just gonna say to play, click here or press spacebar. Okay, and we can add some images of that later on. So there's our welcome screen. So if I click the green flag, it now says welcome to Frogger. Uh, Play, click here or press spacebar I'm gonna now notice that these things are somehow already moving now why is that that's because let's press stop here and go check out our frog our frog script says when the green flag is clicked broadcast new game well we don't need that anymore because that's gonna happen with our splash screen so when the green flag is clicked uh, I'm going to hide the frog. Uh, some people might choose to show the frog or you could even have the frog dance across the top of the welcome to frogger screen uh, 